I'm not a historian, but the, this this in mania about AI is not new. It's quite old. It's as old as computers are. And the last time there was a frenzy about these things was in the 70s, when this was just right around the corner. Again, it was assumed that it would be just about to come and it completely died down. The AI winter, <laughs> right? <laughs> the the so called AI winter, yeah, that, that that was at the time where the development went down, and at the time, famously, it was actually um, what's his name, Dreyfus, who was famously saying that there is no way that these systems would become conscious, right? Yeah, it's, well, you know, AI, artificial intelligence. I mean, first of all, intelligence has got not much to do with consciousness by any stretch of the imagination, and. Additionally, it's a fancy name for a stochastics. It's a fancy name for a stochastic programs. And you're, you're the expert here, not me. I can't calculate anything. Um, I looked at you, I saw his book. And there were too many formulas in there. Um, but no, you have quite a few uh, formulas. And I did actually study ec economics. I had to go through stochastics myself uh, for, for some, some time in my life. But, the, that's what AI is. But I, I, what's more fascinating about this for me, and uncanny and terrifying, I mean, by that, fascinating sounds, you know, like we're having a, a neat conversation, is, is, is this happy, content self-reduction of man. It's the human being who ultimately self-produces himself and gladly so. That, that's what I find so utterly striking about this. Nietzsche foresaw this, as you know, when he speaks of the last man who is content to invent happiness and blink. And I think the blinking is this sort of, you know, winking to each other where we know that it's nothing's really at stake here. Just, and when you mention ethics, I mean, even that is not, you know, that would be a, if not the most fundamental question, because if ethics means anything, then it, it's not just a word simulacrum that we use because why not? Ethos used to mean essence. The the we das Wesen des Menschen ist ethos. The essence of the human being is ethos. The question for ethos it's not, doesn't mean character or anything like that. It means this is the realm in which the human being becomes the human being. It's not a fact to be human. But of course, what is meant here by ethics is a utilitarian calculation. So uh, you, you mentioned the several category mistakes that are being done or, or being committed. And, uh, but what I see in it is, 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 um, is being cut off from the source. There's no speaking from within or from out of the source without which we're already machines in some sense anyways. You know? So you mentioned the atomic bomb coming from the outside. Uh, there's a very provocative line by Heidegger. Where he says the atomic bomb exploded 500 years ago. Do you know this one? He says this, I think, in in the yes. turning, and he's and he means, I think, Francis Bacon, and I mean, uh, and René Descartes, also. Um, he means the rebellion against being, and in some sense. The machine also doesn't come to us from the outside, really. But it's a machinic self-understanding of the human being that drives this. And that, to me, I, I wonder where that comes from. But um, go in any direction, mm -hmm. if you please. Yeah, uh, well, in terms of the, the history where you said it's, it's uh, that these talks about machine consciousness are older, that they also existed in the 70s, I would say you could, as Heidegger said, the atomic bomb exploded 500 years ago, you could also go further back with that as well, like the notion of the alchemical golem, where um, a, a, a artificial human was created out of clay, and then some sort of philosopher's stone just was put in there, it was already an attempt to reconstruct what is human in form of some sort of material created uh, entity. Uh, in the same way you've got uh, stories like Frankenstein or uh, you've got the, uh, uh, the the Sandman by uh, E.T.R. Hoffman 
where uh, the main character falls in love with a with a puppet with a mannequin woman and uh, that was constructed by a physicist to behave like a real human and uh, the 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 main character who falls in love with 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 it uh, is seen as insane by his fellow humans um but he he uh, doesn't see the artificiality the, the 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 fact that this person is not really a person but a, a mannequin he doesn't see it because he projects all of his own ego all of his own kind of narcissism onto her and just wants a an automaton that agrees with him and uh, i think that's that's an interesting point in that sense that like what what we kind of do is we we kind of create these machines that kind of become autonomous in a sense there's this set that there's this uh, sense of looking at technics as an autonomous entity and they kind of reproduce themselves and maintain themselves you in systems theory you'd say autopoiesis they they kind of maintain themselves by fulfilling increasingly fulfilling our desires and creating new desires so the kind of view of that and the kind of elaborate um, exploration of that has been given by writers such as Gilles Deleuze and uh, Nick Land who, who talk about this that the, the issue being here of course is that for them cybernetics this kind of view of we are just a, a network of energetic computational nodes and we are just and these energetic computational nodes that are our machines they've co-evolved with us and that's all there is just kind of cybernetic processes input output this kind of view by them is totalized it is seen as like the final last stop of metaphysics and um that is it there's no beyond that you hear even nick land saying nothing human makes it out of the near future so it is kind of a, a philosophical resignation in a sense a philosophical totalizing of the of the kind of trajectory of techniques and in a way like it is these these writers were profound perhaps more educated than than i am in these areas um but in a way it feels to me like a form of resignation uh what, what would be your input on that 